my gosh, did I just break my favorite glasses? No, I did not. Oh my gosh, bless America. Happy, I'm gonna say happy Tuesday, even though it's Monday for me, it's Tuesday for you. It's kind of have a busy day. We just got back from the park taking days potty. You know what? I just realized I was supposed to donate those to the women's shelter. Why didn't I not do that? Hold on, let me Google this real quick. Oh my gosh, my mind is so scatterbrained. I can't even think. Why did I not do that? Is there even one nearby? I can't do anything about it now. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so mad at myself, I could cry. How am I just now realizing that? Oh my gosh, how am I just now realizing that? What the heck? I cannot believe myself right now. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, that's gonna haunt me. Temporarily. Whatever. I cannot believe I just did that. I was so sure about it too. I woke up this morning. I'm gonna take my stuff to Goodwill. Why? Why did I think Goodwill? <sighs> Bless it be the name, Lord. Have mercy on me. In other news, I have 15, 10, 15 bags. Not really, that's kind of an exaggeration, but I have a lot of cans and bottles that I need to take in. But I'm just now finding out that, just make sure you're on. I'd be really mad if I wasn't recording and my mic was not plugged in. A bottle drop does not exist here in Arizona. What? How do you not have bottle drops? There's like recycling places and bins and stuff, supposedly. And you take them and you get like half the amount of money, I guess, for it. I'm not even concerned about like the money portion. There's so many, there's so many homeless people here like digging through the garbage just to find cans and bottles. And now I'm just coming to realize like, why? Where are you taking them, I guess is my question. Stop. I cannot believe I just took that to Goodwill. Goodwill's trash. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna get over this. I cannot believe I just did that. Dude, that's honestly, it's not even noon yet. It's 11.42 and my day's ruined. What's meant to be will be. Maybe some of my clothes will fit some of the people that are just now going back to school. Maybe. You have to look at the bright side. Everything happens for a reason. Oh my gosh, Brooke, get it together. This is what happens when I don't eat. I haven't eaten like a proper meal in days. Okay, let's go get these cans and bottles and then figure, well, and then figure out where to take them. There you are. No, get back. Here's something else I just thought of. The guy that helped me with at the donation center, he was super nice and I made him laugh. So maybe he just needed a laugh for the day and that's why I was meant to go there. We're just gonna say that. We're gonna say he was having a bad morning and then when I got there, I made him laugh and then I made the rest of his day. Even though my decisions have ruined my day, they impacted somebody else's. <laughs> So I was planning on bringing dace, but then there ended up being no room. And the fact that all of these bags fit perfectly, I am astonished. Because if I stopped my Civic, this would have taken me at least five trips because only two, possibly three big bags of the black bags would have fit in my Civic, which is insane. We're going to this place um, called Cactus Recycling. I'm gonna drive by and see like if I can even park anywhere because literally right off one of the main roads. Oh my gosh, there's literally nobody driving that one car. Oh my gosh, there's a Ferris wheel. <gasps> the fair! Is that where the fair is gonna be? That's kind of weird. It looks like a sketchy Ferris wheel, look. You see it? It's like way out there. In the midst of me trying to hurry up and get all these bags into the Jeep, I literally dropped my camera. It's definitely cracked, which is a little bit of a bummer. It is what it is. So I'm not quite sure if this place is gonna be a winner because I don't know if I'm gonna have room to like park anywhere because like I said, it's right off one of the main roads. I'm not quite sure if they'll even be able to take everything that I have. I'm su still super confused about this whole Arizona tax thing. This state is way different than Oregon. I'm trying to adapt, but I'm not liking some of the things here. And also somebody commented out on one of my Instagram stories and told me that it's also super dangerous to like take your cans and bottles over states and get them deposited or um, Yeah deposited there. Is that the right word? Deposited? Oh my gosh, there's another Ferris wheel Arizona State Fair. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I got too distracted by the fair now I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oregon is completely different than this Arizona thing and I'm trying to Am I in the wrong lane? Wait, no, I'm not. I'm in the correct lane. Oh, don't let me stop on the train tracks. If this place is not a winner, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. They could just take my cans and bottles and they can keep whatever money is. Um... Oh my gosh, look at this Jeep. I keep getting distracted. Okay, let me get there, see if we can get these deposited, recycled, whatever, and go from there. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I like... 
Hold on. I feel so out of place. <laughs> I was in reverse and I was just stuck in a freaking dip. Bless America. Am I going there? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, you too. Here you go. Oh. I don't want it. No, it's que you know, but I had I don't want it. <laughs> I got six dollars out of it and I ended up giving it to the guy that was helping me um, unload it all They looked at me. They looked at me. So he's like 23 23. I don't know if, it wasn't 23 pounds, but like point pounds or something He's like 23 23 and I'm like trying to understand. I'm like, I don't know what that means and he goes <laughs> He looked at his guy friend and then his guy friend looked over at his other guy friend and they're all like bombastic side eye what does this girl mean? How does she not know what she's doing? What does she mean she's never done this before? And I was like, I'm not from here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What does 23 mean? So I'm like <laughs> trying to understand him and also trying to figure out myself. Okay, 23, 23, what does that mean? He took me to like the, the counter, the register or whatever. I don't know what type of glass it was, but I couldn't even see through the window like where the cashier was supposed to be. And so I'm just kind of like hoping he's not waiting on me for me to do something because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Just the fact they all looked at each other like, this girl's stupid. I knew I was gonna look stupid and then oh my gosh, I cannot believe I didn't have my Jeep in park. He was telling me to like back up when I when I got there. And so I'm like backing up, backing up, and then I couldn't back up any further because I was like in this dip. And I'm like, okay, I'm parked. <laughs> and then I get off. I go back there and I'm like, why do my reverse lights look like they're still on? Bro, they were on because I never put the Jeep in park. Dude, I need some food and like another ego or something. How have I survived life on my own this long? I don't know. The question will always, <laughs> the question will always remain. Now I need to go back to the apartment and get another thing, another box of donations that I have, which those will actually go to Goodwill. What is in that? It's just like a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff, like frames, pot, like a pot, pot floaties like just stuff like that blankets all that kind of stuff what is happening oh it's a funeral escort everyone just came to like a complete stop and then there's these policemen and sirens and everything with people honking and stuff i thought either somebody just did a hit and run or somebody was on the run but no it was a funeral escort today is one of the weirdest mondays i've ever experienced I look like trash. I ended up coming home and eating some cereal and then I took a little break because I was actually just super tired and now I'm even more tired I think than before. I have no idea how I can be so tired. I don't know if it's just because like I'm not eating that much or I'm just so stinking tired. I just have so much to do like I cannot be tired right now. In other news, I'm just super excited to like be moved into the, my new apartment, start decorating it and like start filming in it. Oh, it's just gonna be so much fun. I can't wait, but I still have yet to to go to Goodwill again to drop off these donations and to be honest with you going to Goodwill at the very beginning of this vlog has took a toll on me I'm really upset that I did that I don't even know these are the things <laughs> these are the things I get upset over things that kind of actually matter yeah I'm gonna load up my wagon again for these donations oh my gosh that's another thing so I had my office just about cleared out I packed everything pretty much and I have this whole tote of paper that I need to shred 30% done with shredding and my shredder goes out that means I have to go get a new shredder. I think maybe it just like overheated, so I left it alone for a couple of hours yesterday. And I went back to go start shredding again. Nope, it just does not work. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. After a whole year of being here, the one time that I want to shred, you don't want to shred. So now I have to get a new shredder, and I'm just debating on whether I want to go to the store and get one, or if I want to go to, or if I want to get one from Amazon. But I am so hungry, even after that cereal with the bananas, that I'm trying out some like turkey meatballs and mashed potatoes. Don't know if I'm 
I'm gonna like these meatballs, but I'm kind of hoping that I do. Those are cooking right now. I load up my wagon. These things I ended up finding at the trash. <laughs> I'm gonna be one of those old people that I tell my friends, look what I got at the trash. No, but I got this thinking that I was going to use them. There's two of them, but now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, what are you doing, Brooke? No, we're not, no. Instead of throwing them away, we'll actually donate those. As if I'm doing a really good cause. I really don't want to take them to the trash chute. They don't need to be thrown away. Somebody could find use out of these. These baskets, I'm not quite sure what to do with. I don't know if I should keep them, like put sheets and pillow, pillow slips, whatever in them, or if I should just get rid of them. I just don't know. I feel like I should keep them. I'll keep them. And then I guess if I end up not using them when I'm in my other apartment, I will get rid of them. Where's that box? Oh. I think I will keep this. This was one of the floaties that I was gonna get rid of, but Kaylee's mom got this for me. I actually really like it. I used hers when we were at her pool and I like it. So I'm going to keep that. Otherwise, a lot of the other stuff I have in here is like this. You can't even see, it doesn't matter. It's just it's stuff I don't want. I feel like a lot of people would be like, no, keep those for jam, but I don't want any jars. Ooh. I'm honestly getting so irritated because my meatballs are already burning and I don't know why. There's like four different ways to make these and one is on the microwave, one is from thawed. On what though? One is from frozen, okay. One says from frozen, heat on high for four High on what? What am I heating it high on? Am I heating it high on the stove? Am I heating it high in the microwave? Am I heating it high in the oven? And then one says conventional on oven. Why couldn't you just say oven? What does conventional mean? And then finally at the very bottom it says stove top. Combine with your favorite sauce and heat for 20 minutes. On what temperature? <laughs> what temperature? Combine with your favorite sauce and heat for 20 minutes. Okay. On what? I had it on high and they're already burning. I'm actually gonna start crying. You guys wanna know what happened to me yesterday? Listen to this. You wanna know how my Sunday went? I'll tell you how my Sunday went yesterday. I woke up at 8.30. That's my alarm every single morning. Woke up at 8.30. Lay up in bed for a little bit for maybe like 30 minutes. I realized, oh my gosh, like I need to go to church. I start getting ready for church, trying to make myself look presentable. And then I couldn't figure out what to wear because everything that, everything that I wasn't feeling is what was hanging up and everything that I was feeling was already packed away. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wear jeans and a shirt or whatever. And then I didn't like the shirt. So then I changed into a sweatshirt. So I ended up wearing my blue hoodie, my blue hoodie and my my blue jeans and my Vans to church yesterday. And I still had to take days potty. So I'm just like running behind and I feel like I'm always running behind when I'm getting ready for church. And church is like, depending on traffic, it can be like 25 to 40 minutes away from me. And it also depends on how fast I go. On the road, I'm getting there, I'm rushing there and I get there and I get there like two minutes after church started and the doors are already closed. I can already hear the sermon through the doors and I'm like, there is no way I am the last person late to church. Like there's just absolutely no way. I go in and he's sure enough preaching and I'm like, what the heck, what time is it? And I don't dare go through the doors because I don't want to interrupt a service. So I'm like, what is going on? How am I the last one here? It's only two minutes past the service time. I like look at the clock and it's like, like 9.48 and I'm like, this just does not make any sense. So then I just looked around and it dawned on me. Oh my gosh. I'm an hour early to the service. Church doesn't start until 10.45. Why was I there at 9.45? Bro, I was there a whole hour early and I rushed with everything. I could have had plenty of time to pick out a proper outfit too. I can't just drive home and then drive back. Like that's a waste of gas. So what do I do? I already had caffeine, so it's not like I can go get coffee. So I'm like, I'm just gonna drive around. I'm just gonna drive around and look at the scenery and see what's around here so I can get familiar with this place. And to be honest with you, I had like my own worship session before church and it was just phenomenal. Let's see how these meatballs are doing. They're burning. Mm. Hey, are we burning? I don't even want them anymore. I don't want them anymore. <sighs> but then I have these potatoes. What am I supposed to do with the potatoes? <laughs> I can't. Guys, I'm actually crying. Look at these. These are real tears. Waffles. Oh, waffles aren't even gonna give me the protein that I want. Dude. I wish I could afford a chef. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. <laughs> I try so hard to like buy new things to cook. And I'm like, what is even the point? <laughs> I don't know how to cook you. Why would I buy you? My waffles are done. I am having a mental breakdown. I am having a mental breakdown. I got my waffles out of the toaster and then... <laughs> I realized I don't have butter. <laughs> I'm so annoyed with myself. I 
can't even tell if I'm crying or if I'm laughing. Maybe I'll just go get something. I'm so tired of fast food though. They pour waffles. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm good, thank you. Bombastic side eye. I was here this morning too. I thought I had everything, but I didn't. This guy was a different guy. He goes, I like your shades. I was like, thanks. They're the only pair that I haven't broken. He's like, yeah, sometimes that's how it goes. You break your only favorite pair. And I was like, yeah, watch. I probably just jinxed it, huh? How my day's going. Oh my gosh. Did I just break my favorite glasses? Okay. I cannot. Okay, let's go find something to eat because that's the main reason why I got out here. I just figured I would bring the donations out while I was out and about. Yeah, a little bit better now that that's done. I literally look like... A beetle with these bugs. I mean, <laughs> these glasses on. I think a salad and go sounds good. I think we'll go do that. Right? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Extra avocado. Thank you. I have a chance to win a hundred bucks if I scan a QR code. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a good one. Thank you. This whole vlog is basically just me in my car, but this looks so yummy. Got to the window and I was like, oh, they actually add ranch. Made sure they. They never get my order right. They never do. The last time that I went in, I asked a Cobb salad with no bacon and croutons. I think I asked for avocado too. They didn't give me extra avocado then and they didn't give me croutons either. This time I asked for the same thing, croutons, extra avocado and no bacon. They got everything else right except added the dang bacon. Cobb salad, no bacon, chicken, extra avocado and- Bombastic side eye. <sighs> and then I got a frozen strawberry lemonade, which I didn't want it to be frozen. I just wanted a strawberry lemonade. This is pretty good though. Ew. Well, Jace can have the bacon. Gross. Ew. 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 Hi. Oh my gosh, Jace. I'm so over today. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm honestly going to call it a day. Because this is just ridiculous. I want to go to sleep. I want to go back to sleep. Now, how the heck am I supposed to open this ranch? Seriously? Oh. It's still good. <laughs>